Welcome. I'm Jean Baxter, and tonight is Hadley's 27th Annual Girl Scout Court of Awards. We'll be celebrating the accomplishments of our girls and recognizing the contributions of our adults and community supporters. Two of our Gold Award Girl Scouts from Troop 40033 are helping tonight in welcoming the troops and sharing some of their own tidbits with you. Jackie Pliska and Monica Rosa, along with Felicia Phil, who received her gold award last year. Please join me in welcoming them. Now to honor our flag. Our opening and closing flag ceremonies are presented by two families of Hadley Girl Scouts in three different troops. Troop 64645, fourth grade, Troop 12652, 6th grade, and Troop 11914, 7th grade, in Zaturka Park. The caller is Mara Breen, the leader of Troop 12652, and the flag bearers and color guard are Anna Conklin and Elena Conklin and Rochelle Bouffet and also Rosalie Conklin. These flag ceremonies are also going to be presented at the Girl Scouts of Central and Western Massachusetts Gold Award Ceremony, which is going to be presented Thursday, June 18th at the Northfield Drive-In. Girl Scouts, attention. Color Guard, attention. Color Guard, advance. Color guard, post the colors. Color guard, salute the colors. We will now say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now say the Girl Scout promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Color Guard dismissed.
Parade Girl Scouts Daisy Troop 65020, led by Brandy Phil, will begin our awards sharing some of this year's highlights with you. Our Daisies will be bridging this year to be Brownie Girl Scouts. This is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark Your sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones There's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath Stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you Running at you It's only this moment Don't care what can gather Y'all feel a dream, can't you see you getting closer? Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion. There's something breaking at the brick of every wall, it's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you wanna go? Where it's covered in all the color lights. Where the runaways are running the night. Impossible come true, it's taking over you. Next is our fourth grade junior troop, 64645, Amanda Kinchla and Rosalie Conklin.
next, we will share with you a video collage about our most recent Hadley Girl Scout project for COVID-19 frontline workers. Next is our 6th grade cadet troop 12652 led by Mara Breen. We had another great year full of fun activities. Here are some of the things that we did. We earned the Night Owl, Screenwriter, and New Cuisines badges. We made homemade candles for the holidays. We sold 1,200 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Camped at Brownie Bay, canoed, made yummy food, and had a late night dance party. We visited the Hitchcock Center in Amherst and learned about living buildings. We made Native American fry bread in the original Girl Scout cookie recipe. We did the Brave Cadet Journey as a prerequisite for working on our silver awards. And during quarantine, we made a video to teach people how to make their own warm composting bin. We're excited to show it to you now. Next is our 7th grade cadet troop 11914 led by Rosalie Conklin and Emily Pfeiffer.
Next is our 8th grade cadet troop 11610, led by Allison Donto Venman with Amy Regish. Troop 11610 will be bridging this year to be senior Girl Scouts. So today I'm going to attempt to replant um, this branch from my favorite pear tree. Um, so the first thing I have to do is take my knife and I have to peel off the bark. I can't peel it like this because that won't be exact. You're not supposed to damage the wood under. But I'm going to cut a little circle so it's easier to peel. And then a slit so it's also easier to peel. So I have to dip this in water so the rooting compound sticks to it. And that's what the reading compound looks like. And then all I do is put the plant in there, cover it up. So today I'm going to be planting an oak tree, and I'm going to be planting three, and I'll show you the one that I've already started. And so I got compost, which is um, from our compost bin, which I will be surrounding it with. Since the, the dirt around this is very dry, I have to make sure that I water it a lot so that it stays dry. So I'll do okay. And so I'm also going to be starting to plant some tree sprouts that we had, which are smaller than this, but still but we'll see if they're able to grow and I'll take care of them. Get it. Well, I'm watering right around the roots in the area so that the tree is able to grow. I'm gonna put some more there. I made sure to remove the um, all of the weeds around the area so that it's able to grow without competition. And I'm planting this at the edge of my woods where there's a lot of sunlight so that I'll be able to grow. Here I have a bare root mulberry tree. Um, I already dug the hole, so I'm going to put it in the hole and spread its roots out. So the compost is at the bottom of the hole now, but before you could see the water at the bottom of it because mulberry trees are one of the few fruit trees that can live in a wet environment. We actually planted it in our orchard because many farmers plant it in their orchard since they attract birds, their fruit, which is much like a blackberry. So the birds eat the blackberry like fruit instead of going for the other things in the orchard. I'm now going to put some compost on top of the dirt that came out of the hole. So you can see how I buried it up to its root flare, which is where the roots spread out, which as we learned is where you're supposed to plant a tree. Even though the ground is very wet and I probably don't have to water it that much, I'm still going to water it since it is being transplanted. I'm now flattening out the area around the tree. Next, we'll share two videos with you. The first is about our fall camping trip to Camp Bonnie Bray. The second video is about some of the awards our Girl Scouts adults have received.
we'd like to say thank you to some of the adults within the Hadley Service Unit and how they have supported the Girl Scouts. Let's start with years of membership. This is the total number of years a person has been a Girl Scout both as girl and adult. With five years of membership, we thank Roxy McInerney, Ellen Francoeur, and Ginny Phil. Next is Kelly Higgins with 10 years, and with a total of 15 years, we'd like to recognize Mara Breen. Years of volunteering is different in that it only includes adult years of volunteering. Thank you to the following members for five years of volunteering. Roxy McInerney, Amanda Kinchla, Ginny Phil, Athena O'Keefe, and Ellen Francoeur. And with 10 years of volunteering for Girl Scouts, we'd like to extend a big thank you to Mara Breen, troop leader for two different troops. The Volunteer of Excellence Award is for outstanding service partnering directly with girls in any pathway implementing the Girl Scout leadership experience. Congratulations to Abby Smith for earning this award. The Appreciation Pin is for outstanding service to our service unit, actively recognize, understands, and practices the values of inclusive behavior. The service performed by the nominee is above and beyond the expectations for the position held and has helped the council reach and surpass its strategic priorities in a geographic area of service. It supports the delivery of the Girl Scout leadership experience. Thank you, Tara Ragish, for all that you have done for Girl Scouts, and especially for being the Hadley Service Unit Cookie Manager. Our second recipient for the appreciation pin is Emily Pfeiffer. We are grateful for having Emily as one of our troop leaders, but we are most grateful for Emily becoming an archery instructor, providing all our Hadley Girl Scouts with many, many hours of archery instructions and time at the range. The Evergreen Award is for a volunteer who has previously been awarded the appreciation pin for giving exemplary service which has had continuous measurable impact on a geographic area of service, actively recognizes, understands, and practices the values of inclusive behavior. The service performed by the nominee has remained above and beyond the expectations for the position held and has continued to help the council reach and surpass its strategic priorities in a geographic area of service. It supports the delivery of the Girl Scout leadership experience. Thank you to my mom, Barbara Pliska, for your work to support the Hadley Service Unit, for your years as the Service Unit Fall Product Manager, for coordinating our first aid and CPR training for adult leaders and many scouts over the years, and your willingness to organize events for all troops has not gone unnoticed. Finally, we'd like to thank all the families, friends, and community members that support the Hadley Girl Scouts. Next is our ninth grade troop, 11644, led by DJ Jekinowski. Senior Troop 11267 led by Mara Breen with Shoshona King. Troop 11267 will be bridging this year to be Ambassador Girl Scouts. 
Hi, we are Senior Troop 11267, and uh, we had another fantastic year of Girl Scouting. So we thought we'd share a couple of our accomplishments with all of you. We have sold over 1,500 boxes of Girl Scout cookies this year. We filmed the scene of the movie Beetlejuice for Northampton Open Media's Crowdsource Cinema Project. We spent Columbus Day weekend at Bonnie Bray in Otis, and we flipped our canoe. We learned about the value of close relationships and shared our advice to younger girls through our sisterhood journey. We learned about how to be mentally, physically, and emotionally healthy by earning the Women's Health Badge. We supported the Hadley Girl Scout Square Dance in March as we do -si do all night. And now we are going to bridge to ambassadors. Grade 12 Ambassador, Troop 40033, led by Barbara Pliska, and we're bridging to adult Girl Scouts. In June 2019, the Hadley Service Unit gathered for our annual Court of Awards ceremony. Kira Chokas and I were the MCs for the night. I was also recognized for successful completion of the Girl Scout Gold Award, which is the highest award in Girl Scouting. On June 12, 2019, Kira Chokas and I were recognized by the Town of Hadley for our Girl Scout Gold Award projects at a select board meeting where we were issued a proclamation by the town. One of our favorite spots to go camping is at Camp Lewis Perkins in South Hadley. We spoil bar by making the best food around, including steak, chicken, potatoes, vegetable medley, kielbasa, and of course my famous blueberry pancakes in the morning. We also do various activities that include hiking, team building skills, woodworking, and archery. It is also tradition to have a flag ceremony every day. Family, friends, and community members gathered at the Hadley Farms Meeting House to celebrate the pinning of my gold award. The biggest advice I can give to younger Girl Scouts is to only surround yourself with people who support you, encourage you, believe in you, uplift you, inspire you, and make you a better version of yourself. Sometimes your circle of friends decreases in size, but increases in value, and that will take you far. Our troop visited Mar Breen Psychology Lab at Mount Holyoke College in August. We got a private tour of the campus, and she showed us around her lab, explaining her current research project and various equipment that is used to examine the brain. The hands-on experience made for an exciting afternoon. In mid-July, we decided to have a girls' day to just hang out. We went swimming, drove around the Razor, visited the Smith College Art Museum, and attended the Oxbow Water Ski Show at night to name a few of the things that we did. Everyone wants to be the sun to lighten up someone's life, but why not be the moon to brighten in the darkest hour? We have all made each other smile throughout the years when we needed it most, and these are a few examples of the amazing memories we have made over the years. We started what we hope will turn into an annual tradition for the Hadley Girl Scout Council. 
This year in September at the North Hadley Hall, we had a campfire and we had the UMass All Women's Acapella Group join us for an evening of singing, s'mores, and smiles. Last October, we adventured out to East Otis and discovered the beauty of Camp Bonnie Bray. We enjoyed taking hikes to the observatory tower and looking at the breathtaking scenery. We participated in archery, canoeing, and roasting marshmallows at the fire while doing charades with the younger scouts. On our hikes, we stumbled upon an obstacle course which tired us out, so it was very convenient that we came across John's recliner. When we finally found the tower after getting lost, from Barb's great sense of direction, the view was well worth it. Last November, we had a table selling our fall candy collection at the Mother's Club annual winter craft fair. Yummy! We sold out of almost all of the selections, and we had fun interacting with the community members as we offered them free samples. Throughout the past, our troop has had a tradition of baking cookies for the VA in Northampton. This past year, for the first time, we invited a younger troop to mentor and continue on with this tradition. We showed them the ropes on how to properly bake and package chocolate chip and sugar cookies. We also enjoyed lots of laughs while cleaning Barb's destroyed kitchen. This is May. She's our troop mascot. She always brings our troop meetings and activities smiles, laughs, and love. While we were working on our badges and gold award projects, she gave us motivation and support. We love you, May! Troop 40033 has been renewing our CPR and first aid certifications every two years since we first got them in 2015 as cadets. This year was no exception for Girl Scout Monica Rosa as she renewed her certification for the third time this past December. January marks the start of a new year and the start of Girl Scout cookie booth season. Our troop sold cookies at many different locations, including Liquors 44 in Hadley on Super Bowl Sunday. We also sold cookies at Dunkin' Donuts and Texas Roadhouse in Hadley. Being a Girl Scout is about helping others and being a leader, not a follower. I was delighted when a Northampton Brownie troop leader reached out seeking an older Girl Scout troop that could mentor young brownies and show them the ins and outs of selling Girl Scout cookies at a cookie booth. This cookie booth at Texas Roadhouse was the last cookie booth we were able to do before we were stuck in quarantine. Since we could no longer meet in person, we decided to use Zoom as a way to continue to meet. We would meet every Friday night. While in quarantine, we decided to earn a few new badges, including the photography badge. We took our own pictures and told a story with them. We also had Linda Hannum explain to us what it takes to be a professional photographer. We also earned our good credit badge and had a talk with Amy Fiden about building our credit score and the benefits it has. As most of you know, our cookie season got cut short, and like many other Girl Scout troops, we had a huge supply of cookies that we never got to sell. An opportunity was brought to us and we figured out a way to support frontline workers and get our cookies off of our hands. We delivered cookies to the Hadley Fire Department to show our support to them for working during these tough times. Our project created such a big impact on the community that the Daily Hampshire Gazette requested to interview our troop to further understand our goal and motivation for doing the project. We personally delivered cookies to the VA Hospital and Cooley Dickinson Hospital in Northampton. Our cookies were also delivered to the Holyoke Soldiers Home, Bay State Hospital in Springfield, and the Massachusetts National Guard. Many Girl Scouts in Hadley supported our project and helped make cards for frontline workers, which was greatly appreciated.
especially proud of our Hadley Girl Scouts who have earned the Girl Scout Gold Award, the highest award in Girl Scouting. I received my own Gold Award last year and it's a lot of hard work. This year, two more girls from my troop, Jackie Pliska and Monica Rosa, will be receiving their Gold Award pins at the Big Council Ceremony at the Northfield Drive-In next week. This year, all three of us are bridging from Ambassador Girl Scouts to Adult Girl Scouts. First, I'd like to introduce Jackie Pliska, Fitness and Fun. Next, I'd like to introduce Monica Rosa, Golden Moments. Grade 4 Troop 64645 will lead our candle lighting ceremony. 
Junior Troop 64605 will now lead you through the candle lighting for our promise. First, we will do the Girl Scout promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. As a troop, we will now say the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair. Be friendly and helpful. To be considerate and caring. Courageous and strong. Responsible for what I say and do. Respect myself and others. Respect authority. Use resources wisely. Make the world a better place. Sister to every Girl Scout. Troops 64645 and 12652 and 11914 will now lead us in our closing flag ceremony. Color Guard attention. Color Guard advance. We will now sing taps. Day is done, gone the sun. From the lakes, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest. God is nigh. Color guard, retire the colors. Color Guard dismissed. 